Well, new at noon today, video of an Arkansas state trooper performing a pit maneuver on a vehicle of a pregnant woman is sparking debate across the area. Now, the officer said he performed the maneuver because the driver was speeding and didn't pull over. The woman says, though, it wasn't safe to stop. Jerrica Duncan reports on the video that is now evidence in a lawsuit. Janice Harper was on her way home from the movies last July when Arkansas State Trooper Rodney Dunn tried to pull her over for speeding. Video from Dunn's dash cam shows within seconds of turning on his overhead lights, Harper moves into the right lane, slows down and turns on her hazards while continuing to drive. About two minutes later, Dunn hits Harper's car. The maneuver caused the SUV to spin on the highway, hit the inside wall, and flip. It rolled over. Give me uh, EMS. Dunn calls for EMS before pulling over and talking to Harper while helping her out of the car. Are you the only one in the vehicle? Yes. Okay. Pregnant. Well, ma'am, you've got to pull over when we stop. I got my it doesn't away. matter, ma'am. Thought it would be safer to wait until the exit. No, ma'am, you should pull over when law enforcement stops you. Okay. But an Arkansas state driver's license guide says when being stopped by law enforcement, you should activate your turn signal or emergency flashers to indicate to the officer that you are seeking a safe place to stop. A new lawsuit from Harper claims there were no exits or a shoulder for Harper to safely exit the highway. We call it a pit maneuver when people flee from us or don't, or don't stop from us. Court documents allege Dunn executed a negligently performed pit maneuver or pursuit intervention technique, which put her life and the life of her unborn child at risk. Yeah, Harper less, told Little Rock Station KLRT she thought she was going to lose her baby. Her. What if I had kids in the car? I mean, how he wouldn't have known. Did that matter? What was going through his head? What, what made him think this was okay? Now, thankfully, Janice Harper's baby is okay and is now four months old. Now, we don't know the full extent of the injuries, but the Harper's attorney said they have heard from several other people saying similar things have happened to them. CBS News has reached out for comment from Arkansas State Police. They have not heard back as of yet.